41 years ago, I was a 22-year-old student here in Jerusalem. We are now in Kikar Tzion, Zion Square, in the heart of the city. And it was a Friday and I was doing my shopping innocently until all of a sudden I heard this incredibly loud explosion. I turned around and I saw bodies strewn everywhere. Apparently there had been a terrorist attack. The Fatah organization had brought a refrigerator packed with explosives and placed it right across the street in front of a hardware store. The explosion that they caused killed 15 Israelis and wounded 77. And now I learned that in the last few days, the Palestinian Authority in Ramallah has taken the man who perpetrated that attack, whose name is Abu Sukar, and they built a monument to honor him. That's the education that the Palestinian Authority wants to give to Palestinian children. The way it is now, we're not going to be able to get very far in any kind of negotiation. Because negotiation requires a culture of peace and not a culture of death. So I'm hoping that Mahmoud Abbas, who heads the Palestinian Authority, heads the Fatah movement, will tear down that monument.